In this video, we work on some examples to show capacitor behavior. So let's say uh, in this problem, we have uh, a three picofarad capacitor and the voltage across it is uh, 20 volts. So let's calculate the charge stored. After that, uh, let's also find the energy stored in the capacitor. So to get the charge stored, uh, well, we simply use the formula, the relationship between the charge and the voltage. So we have uh, Q equals C, CV. So we simply uh, substitute the values for C and the voltage, then we get um, 60 uh, pico columns. Now the energy stored, uh, we apply the formula uh, using the voltage across the uh, um, capacitor so one half cv squared and uh, we'll actually get 600 picojoules now in the second example let's say um, we have a two microfarad capacitor and current is flowing towards this capacitor and let's assume that the initial uh, the capacitor has no initial voltage so we can use the formula for the voltage and that is to uh, first get the accumulated voltage by doing integration from C, uh, C to T of the function I and then uh, add whatever initial voltage we have. But since uh, the initial voltage was declared as being zero, so this simply uh, leaves us the uh, term that has the integral sign. So let's go on and integrate. So we have uh, I given by this one. There you are. So we simply substitute I, do the integration, and uh, substitute the limits. So we'll get this uh, result for V. So V here is actually an exponential function as well, uh, just the same as the current that is flowing towards this capacitor. Now, in our third example, we have uh, uh, two capacitors, six microfarad and three microfarad in series, and uh, flow up, flowing towards the series combination is the current I sub S defined as this graph. And then we're uh, being challenged to find what is the voltage across the three microfarad capacitor. So since we know that the current to the capacitor is related by uh, the time rate of change of the voltage across it, so we have I sub S equals to C dVO over dT where V sub O is the, uh, the voltage across the three microfarad capacitor. Um, let's uh, further assume that the capacitor, three microfarad capacitor has no initial charge. So since this equation, what this really means is that uh, we're trying to multiply uh, the capacitance with the slope so we simply first identify this portion, okay? So we can uh, use the formula for the voltage, so that is uh, the accumulated charge plus whatever the initial voltage on the capacitor. So, <clears throat> First, we need to identify the function I sub S between zero and one second. So, uh, well, this is a straight line and uh, that is actually 90 times 10 to the minus 3T. So we substitute the function, the integral and solve for the integral and V sub O. So this is the voltage across the three microfarad capacitor between zero and one second. Now we can also use this equation to get 
at uh, v sub o at exactly t equals one. We simply uh, we simply substitute t equals one second, and then we notice that the voltage after or at exactly t equals one second is fifteen thousand volts. Now to get the voltage across the three microfarad capacitor between one and two seconds, again we use the relationship. Um, this relationship, this formula, I mean. But this time we now have an initial voltage, this, which is the uh, the voltage at exactly one second. So we have initial voltage of 15 volts, so it is now zero, plus uh, the accumulated charge uh, between one and uh, two seconds. So let's integrate it between one and T, where T there is between one and two seconds. So uh, we need to identify the equation for the current between one and two. So this is the uh, line here. So um, applying um, algebra there, we get uh, negative 90 T plus 180 as the equation of the line. Of course, that would be expressed as uh, uh, milliamps. So doing the integration and applying the limits, we actually get this uh, voltage across the capacitor between times uh, one and two seconds. Yeah, simplifying this, we'll actually get this one. So this is the voltage between one and two seconds. Now we can also get the voltage at exactly t equals two seconds, and that would be 30,000. So we have a net voltage after the um, uh, current varies from zero to a maximum of 90 milliamps. So the voltage varies from zero to 15,000 volts. And then as current uh, decreases from 90 milliamps to zero, the voltage actually keeps increasing and uh, reach a, a maximum value of 30,000 at two seconds. Um, so that's it for this uh, video and uh, We'll be examining, on our next videos, we'll be examining um, capacitors that are connected in series and parallel and uh, combinations of series and parallel uh, capacitors and also uh, steady state capacitor networks.